It's uh, located in Astoria, Oregon, uh, on Tongue Point is our main classroom, and then our working areas are Sport Stevens Beach and uh, Cape Disappointment. Every class we have uh, two slots for the Navy and the uh, PJs, either or. We switch uh, every other week, and we'll have two Navy rescue swimmers and uh, two Air Force PJs. Uh, come in and do some cross training with them and show them how we function. We also do training with uh, any other search and rescue departments. We've done uh, LA County, uh, fire, uh, and sheriff's department. We've had the Canadians down, uh, Canadian Sartex and their crews come down and, and do the training, cross training with us so that they can learn how we uh, prosecute our cases out here and the training that we do to better improve their uh, rescue capabilities. And what we train them for is that dark and stormy night when the, you know, they have to go out and respond in the middle of a hurricane or just a winter storm up in the Northwest uh, or up even in the Great Lakes when they get uh, large winter storms blow through. They don't get to go out and train in that all the time. And the weather conditions at the Columbia River Bar let us prepare them for that uh, so that their first time going out the door in 20-foot seas isn't on that SAR case, dark and stormy night, during a hurricane off the coast of Florida. They've been out here and they have an idea of how that weather is going to affect the rescue. And if visibility isn't good enough, we can't go out and train. Uh, and actually, we're one of the few schools that uh, when the weather is nice and the seas are flat, uh, we don't train. We close down the school for good weather.